House Bill 427, an act relating to the Kentucky Opioid Abatement Advisory Commission, making an appropriation, therefore, and declaring an emergency. Representative Bentley. General from McCracken. Mr. Speaker, I yield to the gentleman from Greenup 98 for explanation of the bill and motion thereon. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Greenup for explanation of the bill and a motion thereon. Mr. Speaker, I ask the clerk to report to me sub. Not on. Okay. Look, I can get it down. Mr. Speaker, can you hear me now? I, I ask the clerk to report committee sub for House Bill 427. Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 427. General from Greenup. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move for the adoption of the committee sub on House Bill 427. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. Gentleman from Greenup. Most of you in the papers here in the last few weeks have seen that McKenzie, who was a consulting firm for Purdue Frederick, which made OxyContin, had a settlement. Kentucky uh, settled for approximately over $10.8 million with McKenzie. Now, the global settlement is coming. This is a global settlement of a lot of people who either produced opioids or were consultants or whatever. Let me tell you, this bill is a victory for us. It is a victory over the opioid epidemic. We're getting settlements. It is a victory, a collaborative a victory. Now, collaborative means all the cities, all the counties, and the Commonwealth will be together on this bill. It is a victory because the bill is passed and with the emergency regulations which are on it, the funds could be received, reviewed, and potentially approved this year. It is a victory for those three reasons. House Bill 427 represents a collaborative agreement among counties, cities, and the Commonwealth to distribute the proceeds of a potential settlement against certain opioid manufacturers and distributors. Over 100 Kentucky counties and some Kentucky cities have brought litigation against these defendants, as has the Commonwealth. Now, for some time, the parties have been discussing a potential settlement of these cases. House Bill 427 provides for what will happen with settlement funds if a settlement is reached. Specifically, the Commonwealth will receive 50% of the funds and the local governments will receive 50% of the funds. Crucially, this compromise between the Commonwealth and its political subdivisions will, under the settlement being discussed, result in significantly more money to fight the opioid epidemic in Kentucky. This money is only for fighting the opioid epidemic. This money is only for fighting the opioid epidemic. The bill provides accountability. The bill provides accountability and will prevent fraud and waste, ensuring every dollar ends up where it's needed most. In sum, House Bill 427 will put us on the path to victory over the opioid epidemic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, if there are no questions, I move for the passage of House 427 as amended by the com uh, committee sub. Uh, 